Daily news, breaking news, everyday news on Prince Mill Entertainment TV. Today is the 22nd of uh, June uh, 2022. So guys, here's the latest regarding to uh, my uh, Prince Cam Fumira. I know most of you forgot about her. Yes, uh, she's still facing some charges. And is a uh, former public uh, service minister, Prince Cam Fumira, and uh, then permanent secretary, Ngoni Masoka's abuse of office trial will start on September 15. Fumira and Masoka are presented by Admire Rubaya yesterday appeared before Magistrate Stanford Mambanje who advised them for the new development. Two witnesses were testified in the case we take to the witness stand again when trial re resumes. According to the state, Mfumira directed the Public Service Ministry to write a letter to Central Mechanical and Equipment Department CMED representing facts about the ministry's fleet of vehicles. As a result of the misrepresentation, SMED issued Mfumira with a Jaguar and Masoka accepted the vehicle into the ministry. Mfumira ended up having three personal vehicles instead of two according to her conditions of service. In 2016, Mfumira allegedly instructed one Mkondomi to pay tickets for her aides Uchikamazo, Shumba Yawanda, Spiro Luwayo, and Alexandra Puerinofa using ministry's funds to attend her daughter's wedding in Cape Town, South Africa. It is alleged that they booked hotel accommodation for seven officials at Cape Town Hotel and Fumira's relatives were booked at Lord Charles and Southern Sun Hotels using national drought account funds. In another account, it is alleged that Mfumira instructed the National Social Security Authority to bail out Medbank to the tune of 15 million US dollar when it faced liquidity challenges. The court heard that NASA de declined since the bank had previously defaulted on a 25.3 million US dollar loan. But Mfumira and Masoka forced the authority to buy the bank's properties worth 4 million up uh, 9 US dollar. It is the state's case that after buying the properties, Formula received 44,600 US dollar from the bank through a company, Beauty View Investment Private Limited, where she is a director together with her children. It is alleged Mfumira was aware that the deposits were proceeds of a crime. And so guys, we always talk about Nyaima Dijekuti, a tender in a company, and a tender in various times were three or four amount ye tender actually then uh minister no zongo a kickback and uh, so it means with uh i mean for me around yards i wonder i mean all those uh accusations they can be false i mean why to time at you know together with the payment secretary because with the money the farm is get one game one and then got a signature so carry and so i'm gonna keep you guys in the loop when the trial starts in september here on a daily news breaking news everyday news on prince miller in the team tv how could she use uh money uh, na uh from national droughts uh accounts funds and the kuti when they say uh muriyao who kept on for a for a daughter's wedding i mean come on i'm a one and the Maria Cato Rayo, you remained Vashin in the Okno, Chicago, Chicago, Motera, who kept on over. And the Gajita, I want to see Jemari, Imari Zedu. I mean, for you, this is bad. This is really bad. Someone, a minister, you are supposed to be in our services. Yes, my pensioners who are poor, Maris Cato, Motengi, and Achingo. But you guys are spending almost uh, millions of millions of dollars uh, on your own personal use. Maris supposed to be in Sokerago. I mean, for you. So, uh, this is a daily news, breaking news, everyday news on Prince Miller Entertainment TV. All those charges, they can be false. Like for real, they can be false. I know good reasons are uh, innocent until proven guilty. I understand that, but uh, but anyway, I'm going to wait until the trial, which is uh, September 15, here on daily news, breaking news, everyday news on Prince Miller Entertainment TV. Remember guys to like, share, comment and follow. Bless up.